Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino and on this episode, we're off on another crazy adventure. We have not booked one thing. It's a long weekend. And uh, first place we're stopping, we do know we're stopping is Yay. And we found this free camping place. That's if we can get in, because it is Friday night and it's a long weekend. We don't even know if we'll be able to get in, but anyway, there's always street parking, I suppose. Um, we're gonna be staying behind a pub, hopefully, and then going there for dinner. Obviously, Twyla's on board. Adam, as usual, say hi, Adam. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and um, Adam's just going back to do his checks, probably, as per usual, before we take off. Well, anyway, let's just head off. Adam's about to hop in his seat and let's get to Yay, and then we'll fill you in on the rest of the trip if it happens. We don't even know, we could be going anywhere. But anyway, we'll fill you in when we get there. So we have just arrived and got a spot for the night in Yay behind the pub. There's a pub, here we are. Now I'll tell you the name of the pub in a minute because I've totally forgotten how terrible am I, but how nice is it that they let you camp here for free overnight as long as you get a spot all these other people are here as well camping for the night and literally like i was saying this little driveway will take us to the front to the pub to get something to eat have dinner and then we'll walk the town and then come back and sleep here the night so this is where we're starting our adventure today and um are you ready to go adam yeah. he's just putting his jacket on it's gonna be cool what's that easiest easy stroll for dinner yeah, yeah. Can you believe it? Cars here. I think I think we can have a whole bottle of wine tonight. Woohoo! How cool. Awesome. All right, let's go. So we've managed to get really good seats outside and there is that many dogs here. Twyla is having an absolute ball. Check out this, you've got a beautiful canopy of green over top, this gorgeous tree in the back and we're literally camping just over there. Can you believe it? We've just ordered some, I've got some um, ribs coming and Adam has ordered a, a um, hamburger. I made sure the hamburger is cooked properly because he doesn't like to see any blood, no mooing. But um, yeah, so we've ordered dinner. We're sitting out here. It's a beautiful night. I can't believe it. Our luck with, we got the camping spot for free and we got a table here. Anyway, now go and enjoy. Cheers. just finished at the Country Club Hotel. Well, not completely, because we're camping here tonight, but we just had dinner. It was really nice. And I tell you, couldn't be more spoiled with where we got to sit and just such beautiful surroundings. But anyway, we're just gonna have a walk around the streets before heading to bed. There has been so many cars going past. Obviously, because it's long weekend, there is people going through the town, either stopping, grabbing supplies and leaving. Some people might be staying, but majority people are passing through. So this place is really busy tonight. Anyway, we're now heading back to the van to feed Twyla, and then we might take her for one last walk. So we're settled in for the night and it's been fantastic. No noise, it's been quite quiet here and um, besides our TV going. But um, we're, just, <laughs> we're just actually watching, is it first dates? Yeah, first dates. And it's actually been really good. Adam's sitting back, chilling. And then around here, woo, is Twyla. She's just chilling as well. And um, we got about to, we've got to take her out. We've been watching this, but we've really got to take her out to go for a wee run. But <laughs> otherwise, it's been good. We're on our way, away for the weekend. It's just nice to just get out of Melbourne, find somewhere to camp for the night for free, pick up a really good meal, 
So all in all, this has been awesome. So let's see where tomorrow takes us. But I definitely think there will be a coffee calling in yay for us in the morning. But anyway, let's go to bed. Well, not till after the show finishes because it's actually quite funny. All right, good night guys. It's 3.30 in the morning. I've just woken up and put an extra blanket on. What about you, Adam? How cold are you? Not too bad, but I'm actually sleeping inside the sleeping bag this time. Normally just under. But you find me a little bit warmer just by getting inside it. And, and she's a little bit nipped, nippy too, I think. She's just kind of she's gone next to me. She's under the blanket now. Right. <laughs> I can't even see her face. Hello. Oh, there's her little eyes. Oh, get back to sleep now. Alright, good night. Good night, Australia and the world. <laughs> Well, coffees are made. Adam Twyler is still in bed. It's time to get up, guys. <laughs> and um, I'm just about to cook Adam some hot cross buns. So I'm going to get those cooked up and then I'm going to make myself some bacon and eggs. Yum. So. And why they eat that, I'm going to be eating bacon and eggs. Not the most prettiest looking bacon eggs, but it's okay. Anyway, so Adam's just washing up. We're about to leave. And um, I'm going to take Twyla out to go to the bathroom. But I was just looking out the window. We've got these guys over here. They've got a little pop-up. How cute's that? Let me see if I can zoom in. But yeah, how cute's that? And they had a little tent on the back last night. These guys have got a trailer with a camping... Um, tent on top and then we've got a full van set up so all different varieties of people staying at this site behind the pub so anyone can looks like anyone can come down as long as you're self-contained really anyway twyla let's go to the bathroom come on So Twyla has gone to the bathroom, so that's good. I've just come to fill up some water behind the pub. So I'm actually in the garden right now where we ate last night. Now this is the back part of the garden. So you can get seats out here. And this tree, I tell you, I showed you last night, it's so gorgeous. And obviously that's where we sat last night. This is more, a bit brighter now. But um, yeah, so that's where we sat. So I'm just gonna walk through here. And basically, like I said, caravan's back there. Well, not caravan, our camper van. And I'm gonna go get us a coffee because we're about to head off to um, Bonnie Doon of all places. Remember the movie, The Castle? Yes, The Castle. And they had a holiday house in Bonnie Doon. So I saw it on the map and I thought, I've gotta go see this. So we're gonna to go to Bonnie Doon next and then we're gonna head off somewhere else, which I'll tell you about in a second. But anyway, look at this place, it's so gorgeous. I love this vine. I wish I had one of these in my backyard. How beautiful is it? So I just picked up a homemade jam donut for Adam. Here it is here. From Marmalades in this building. Check it out. It was built in 1887 and it's absolutely beautiful. It's worth going to buy a coffee from there just to look at the building, let alone I think it is going to be a good coffee. And the donuts looked amazing. Anyway, well, let's hit the road and go to Bonnie Doon. Twyla, sorry I didn't get you a donut. What do you think of your donut, Adam? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't tell them. They only make them on a Saturday. So it's a special they do at that, at the cafe at Marmal Marmalades, I think they were called. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. not showing you that, I just put it away. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. Adam's just put in this. She said it would stay fresh all day, but he's just put it into a container, which okay. probably makes sense. Anyway, we're packing up the van and let's head out and go to Bonnie Doon. I've already said that, but let's go. As Dean would have told you, we're on our way now to uh, Donny Moon. Um, I've looked it up because I don't know about it, anything about it. It looks quite small to me, but apparently it's a it's a it's a place to go, <laughs> depending on the on the castle. It's the movie, the castle. Yeah. So I'm hoping.
hoping that I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm a little bit, we'll see. But um, yeah, if he's do, have you been? If he's been there before, um, let us know what are your thoughts on it because um, I don't know what to expect. I guess we'll soon find out. So as you can see, we made it to Bonnie Doon. Now, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's a lot smaller than what I thought. Um, so this is where we stopped off. There's a petrol station and um, a few other little bits and pieces you can check out, including this, a wishing well, and also a Remembrance Shrine as well. So we did discover right where we parked was a little map where you can do a little walking tour. So we thought, well, Twyla needs to walk. So we'll check out this walking tour. I'll show it to you now, and then we're gonna go and do it. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. It looks like this must be a picture taken right here a long time ago in 1887. So anyway, we're gonna go do part of this walk. We would like to do the whole thing. I just don't know how long it's going to take. Um, oh wait, there we go. 2.5 loop. Oh, I think that's easy done. That's about a half an hour walk. All right. Well, we're going to do that, and um, just has a bit of information, and you can use this little code here to get more information. All right, Twyla, we're ready for our walk. Let's go, guys. So you know you're on the right track because we're at number two now. So if we just keep following these, it tells you things. So now we're at number six, and this is just talking about the churches. Pretty much they've got three in a row. They've got one, two, three. Don't ask me what types of churches they are, but anyway, there's three of them there. And um, we're at the ramp now. Just down there is a ramp to take your boats and all the rest of it in. And there is the water behind those trees. So we've made it down to the water where there's people on jet skis. We've seen speedboats. And I'm sure there's people skiing also. But um, yeah, it's a nice little spot. If it was lunchtime, it would be a nice place to come down for lunch, but um, not quite ready for lunch yet. So anyway, we're just going to hang down here for a second and then head back up. And then we've got a little surprise maybe for you. We think we might have found the house, well, the holiday house from the castle. So if we have, we're going to go check it out. So on the way to the house, we thought we'd just pull over and check out this gorgeous bridge. So this one just over here, which you get where Adam's heading towards, um, basically it's an old railway bridge, which you can ride over. It's part of the great uh, Victorian rail trail, which we've been on before, well, parts of it anyway. And um, yeah, you can ride over it. We just saw a, um, a little golf buggy drive over it, of all things. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go walk over that, check that out. The actual original town of Bonnie Doon is under that water. They relocated most of it to what where we just were. Anyway, we're going to head over this bridge and then we might throw the drone up over it. Oh, and the main bridge is also the main bridge where you drive out out of Bonnie Doon is right next to the, the railway um, bridge.
Now, I did promise you the house, well, the holiday house from the castle, and here we are. We've actually parked their driveway. You can rent this place out. How cool is it? And it's even got the dog's um, kennel there, Coco, and then it's got the guy from the show, his uh, um, boxing bag. Yep, it's all here. So if you want to come stay here, you can. And um, if you remember the movie, the power lines were in the background. Well, there they are. They're still there. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And then they've got a few little sayings from the movie. There's one over there where they're singing the song. We should wait. We should sing it in the car. At a, should we? We're going to Barney Dune. <laughs> I'm We're not going good at karaoke. <laughs> not good at karaoke. Anyway, so here we are. And um, yeah. Well, we've just gone past or we've gone through Donnie Bean. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, well, we're basically, essentially, it's on the edge of Lake Gilded. Uh, but I think, yeah, if you're looking into jet skiing, um, speedboats, fishing, it's definitely a place for, for you. Um, so, what are your thoughts, Nadine? And also, we did go through to see the, um, the castle house, so I think Dean's pretty happy about that. We're going to Barney Doom. We're going, well, we've been there anyway. But no, no, it was good. It was worth the stop and um, have you told them where we're going next? Uh, so we're heading to Mansfield, so we'll be there in uh, probably five, ten minutes, uh, five to eight minutes. So it's there not too long to go. Right, let's go to. So we just arrived to the Mansfield Information Centre, which is right at the start of the town, so that's handy. Um, it looks like right next to it, they've got an old um, railway shed, and uh, this is where the tracks used to be. And then behind me, obviously, is the Information Centre. Anyway, let's go in and see what things we can get up to in Mansfield. So right next to the information also is the Mansfield Historic Centre. So you can come here and check out all parts of about the surrounds of Mansfield. They've got two trains out the well, carriages out the back that have a, has a bit of a museum you can walk through and you can even check out this old building. I think it was built in 1890, I think. Well, you know, good guess, Dino. Hopefully it's right. But anyway, but that's right next to the information centre. So worth the look at. And as well, the rail trail goes obviously straight past here. Anyway, we're gonna head into town and go. So we're parked in the main town. We're about to have some lunch. Adam's just making us a salad. Yummo, yummo. It's got some plates out ready to go. And Twyla's down here having a bit of a sleep. And we, we've actually parked. We're parked in the middle of the street. Like we've got a nice view out here. <laughs> There's a roundabout there. <laughs> And the shops are all here. So we're literally in the middle of the street having our lunch. We made these rissoles at home before we came. So having rissoles, rissoles, love. Rissoles, it probably goes with the castle. Actually, it goes with the whole castle <laughs> theme. Not that it was planned. No, it wasn't planned. But we're having rissoles, love. Three or four? Um, oh, three for now. And then as well, like I said, we've got the salad, so. Yummo. So lunch was good. Now we're taking a walk around Mansfield. And um, basically it's like one big X. You've got the roundabout and then you've got a street that goes one way, then the other way. So we're just gonna go do all the streets, check out what's here. And then we have to go find out where we're going to stay tonight because we seriously have not worked it out yet. We don't know where we're going to stay. We know there's a lot of free camping, so I'm sure there'll be somewhere where we can go. Sorry, I'm crossing the road right now. But um, yeah, so we're just going to find somewhere to stay tonight, free camp, and uh, have a barbecue. Anyway, let's go check out Mansfield.
so we've walked the streets. That was fun. Now, one thing we didn't expect to do was a whole heap of shopping. I ended up buying a windsheet, a t-shirt. We brought some stuff for the can for the van. We got some groceries. <laughs> what is this? A shopping tour? <laughs> I thought we were meant to be camping. But anyway, we now are heading in the van and gonna go find somewhere to camp tonight. <sighs> we've asked some of the locals, we've got some sort of idea, but they're saying Good luck with it because it's a public holiday and uh, there's going to be a lot of people out camping. So anyway, let's hit the road and... So we're not far from where we're going to be camping tonight. Well, we think we're going to be camping, depending on how busy it is. But we've just stopped off in Jamison. So it's a little town. It's so cute. It's got a general store behind me. Um, there. And um, also, there's a lot of people picking up ice supplies for tonight, obviously. And um, they've even got this building that they've painted with where old buildings used to be. How cute's that? Anyway, we're just going to use the bathroom one last time before we head into the bush and uh, then head to the campsite. So, but how kids is town? Made it to our campsite. We're only one K away now. And we've just pulled over because we saw this and it looked absolutely beautiful. Now we can't camp here, no camping, but there is a place where you can have a picnic, beautiful green grass, but what stopped us in our tracks was this absolutely beautiful, look at it, look at the water running. Let's get closer. Oh, we don't want to get our feet wet. Fans over there. How gorgeous is this? It looks so beautiful. That 1K turned into about 10. Every single campsite was full. So we kept going, kept going. We ended up on a dirt road. We ended up going past two more campsites. It was pretty full on. And then um, <laughs> after a very bumpy ride, we ended up here and we found ourselves a little corner to go in. There's so many vans, tents, and vans, caravans, you name it, it's all here. It's unbelievable. The water is down there. Um, it is a really cute site, but I mean, it'd be great to come here when it wasn't so bloody busy. And I've got a feeling there'll be a lot of motorbikes coming here tonight. Um, Cause I've got a feeling a lot of people own dirt bikes around here. Uh, yeah, but otherwise we're gonna set up. So this is our little spot in between the trees that we found. And uh, hopefully it turns out all right. All right, so we're all settled in now. This is our view from where we're sitting, which is quite nice. Besides a little tent there, that's okay. Hello, neighbor. Got my glass of wine. And then we've got this reading material. Now look, you know, might take up doing some hunting, some shooting. <laughs> we picked these up from the shop where I bought my clothes. It was some reading yeah, material. Yeah, look at this. We got guns. We joined the military. No, we just got them because um, something to read. <laughs> The government's looking for reserves. They want to increase it. I read today they're increasing it to, they want to increase it to 100,000 by 2040. Oh, we could be the gay reserve. The gay reserves here. In the Navy. In the Navy. <laughs> oh, and um, Twyla, she's chilling. That's her catch for the day. 
but um, we've taken that off her because we're about to feed her. And um, yeah, just sit back. And uh, as you can see, we're very, uh, we're not really winding down from the city, are we? We're editing videos for next week's episode. <laughs> yeah. Always working, always working, even in Can't the bush. We got no reception <laughs> at all. No, but the program still works. Oh, the program's still working? Oh, good, because we need to edit the video. But I'll get up. Oh, let me get up to show you the full setup of... So, yep, we've got our signage out so everyone can check it out. They can't check out our channel because there's no service, but that's okay. They can check us out later. But, yeah, we've just got our seats out. Twyla's got her bed out. She's happy. And, um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now it is... We've got a mixture of a bit of smoke and a bit of dust from the main road. they got their fire going. Um, two, there's two big vans over there, check them out, huge. So We've just come across these kookaburras. The car's about to go, hopefully they didn't get scared, but you can see them. They're off in the tree, there's two of them now. But they all flew in, they were having a bit of an argument. I think it was a mother, a father and two kids. The kids have left the coop and left the two adults there. <laughs> oh, there you go, there's a bit of nature for you before we eat dinner. So we worked out what happened. One of them's got a big sausage in its mouth <laughs> and they all want it. So they're all having a big fight. I'm creeping up to them now. So there's the one with the big sausage in its mouth. Or something, some sort of meat, I think. You got a little friend up there. Oh my god, this is a, the life of the kookaburra. We could make a TV series out of this. Who needs maths when you've got kookaburras fighting over food? Oh, oh, oh! And now I just got swooped by that one. He's not happy. I think that's a big daddy one. <laughs> now it's all happening. I'm backing off. I'm backing off from the food. Whoa, this has got serious. So we've got the family down there, the daddy up there that just swooped me. Can you see him? Look at him. Oh my God, I'm backing off, I'm backing off. Oh, there goes the other one. He's flying, oh, it's all happening. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm backing off. That's the end of Kookaburra Maths. So it's just starting to get a little bit chilly. And guess what? One, I'm not wearing black right now. Now, if you've been watching our channel for a long time, you will notice that I always wear black, but I brought this today, like I was saying from the shop, look, it almost looks a little bit adventurous. So I thought, how cool is, <laughs> Adam said, is the tag taken off? Yes, the tag's taken off. But there you go, that's what I got, I got one of them. Now, tell me something, if you want me to, uh, well, Adam and I actually, because Adam will be designing it, to create some of our own King Dino's Adventures tops, let us know down below, because that would be fantastic. And we could start selling them, and you guys can wear them. So let us know if you're interested in merch. It might be too early, but hey, you know, since I'm promoting someone else's top, we may as well ask you guys if you want to wear ours. But anyway, Let's go cook dinner. Dinner tonight is some steaks with a whole heap of veggies cut up. Now we pre-cut these veggies. So if you're gonna go away and you're gonna go away for a few nights, you're gonna have barbecue, this is a great way to do it. Rather than doing salads and all the rest of it, cut up some onion, some capsicum, um, some zucchini, and just cut it all up, it's all ready to go. Or oh, we've even got some snow peas tonight. Anyway, we just put them in a container. We've done this for two nights. We brought ourselves some steaks. This is such a quick and easy dinner and it tastes amazing. Um, yeah, so Adam's inside getting the rest of the bits and pieces ready. And uh, yeah, so this is for dinner. Quick and easy dinner. Yummo. Adam wants to taste, test the snow peas. Of course he does. What do we think, Adam? Mm. Good? Need a bit of salt. A little bit of salt, that's right, we can have that later. But uh, I love this idea, it's so good. It's so easy to clean up too. Look, there's hardly any mess on here. How easy is this gonna be clean up when you've got no water facilities besides, well, we do in there, but. 
you know, if you're camping, camping, you wouldn't have all the water to clean your stuff. So, no, really easy to clean. So that's a tip from us. Cut your veggies before you come. Put them in containers or sealy bags and um, throw them on the barbie and ready to go. Hey. I was good today. <laughs> the first time in my life, I walked into a sweet shop and didn't buy anything. <laughs> I walked out empty handed. Yeah, Adam went, yeah. So he we went to that lolly shop. You saw he was looking at the lolly shop. He went in. I was going to film him coming out. Then I, I deleted the video because he brought nothing. I can't believe it. And then what did I buy from the sh other yeah, shop? A block of chocolate. <laughs> I brought him a block of chocolate and I brought him some Fruit Loops. <laughs> because he said he saw someone with Fruit Loops uh, the other day. I dinner at the pub last night. There yeah. was someone who had a box of Fruit Loops on their outdoor table and I was just facing this for the whole night. And I'm like, oh, it's a sign. It's <laughs> yeah. so, a beautiful canopy of green. So Adam got Fruit Loops. Twyla, well, she'll end up eating half our steaks probably. Anyway. I don't want to be too loud because there's people sleeping, but um, literally just up there. But how beautiful is this down on the water? So I think these people definitely got the best spot. They haven't got their fishing chairs and fishing rods out doing some fishing but this is absolutely beautiful you can see the cloud behind me just over that mountain over there how beautiful does it look anyway better go head back to the van so they even have two drop toilets so if you need to go they got the facilities so just past the bathrooms you can head down again at another point there's quite a big place um down these little dirt steps and then down here someone's hooked up their their hose from their caravan to go into the water but look how gorgeous this looks i'll take you down there to have a proper look but Looks so pretty, but the only thing is that everyone camps all around the the edges, so you have to actually walk past their campsites to get down to the water. So just push past and say hey, <laughs> and then head down. Anyway, let's go down and check. So we just finished breakfast. Now we're just getting ready for the day and Twyla's got the best seat in the house. She's checking out everything that's going around. Or oh, maybe now she's just gonna sleep. But um, yeah, everyone's up and Adam out there. So now it's our time, turn to get ready. Well, we're all packed up. I even had a shave, look at this. I'm really roughing it, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> we're about to head back into town most likely and then once we've got reception because we've got nothing we've got no phones no internet no nothing um we're going to work out where we're going to go camping tonight we did like this place don't get me wrong i like it but just too busy and so the weather's going to turn and the weather's about to turn there's a few um tents slowly coming down i think they know the weather's coming and it's uh not going to be good, so they're packing up. So hopefully wherever we do decide to go, because of this weather, it might turn a few of those tenters off and we can steal their spots. Just saying. All right, let's go back into town. <laughs> so we're on our way back and we just stopped off at Jameson River. Look how beautiful this is. And you got the bridge that goes over to the main town. And then a lot of locals come here and walk and let their dogs have a swim. So we do have Twyla's uh, towel. So we'll see if she gets adventurous and hops in the water. That's so nice. And you just, yeah, you can just walk down here, park your car up near the bridge. 
and um, a lot of green grass, a lot of people having picnics. So yeah, let's go check it out. Quick little walk up from where we were just then by Jamison Lake is the Jamison Cafe. We just stopped here, we're having a drink. Mind you, we didn't get hot drinks. <laughs> we got a, a nice coffee <laughs> and had got one of, one of these um, lemon lime bitters. But um, no, we're just planning our next move. We're just trying to find maybe a walk to go on and then a camping place to stay the night. But we just, again, don't know where we're going, but I'm sure it'll work itself. Well, for our last night, I think we finally hit the jackpot. We're at Skiffworth's uh, Reserve. I think that's how you say it, but anyway, I filmed it at the start of the tape. But um, we have got such a great spot. We've just parked and we have now got a river view. So let me turn the camera around and take you over to see the view we're gonna have while we eat our dinner tonight. Check this out. So this is our spot. We've already set up. Check out this. Now, there's Adam there with Twyla. And then down there you can see through the trees, the water. And the best bit is when you turn the camera around, look at that. Look at our ocean view. Ocean view. Our own stone beach. <laughs> our own stone beach. So down there you've got a bit of a beach, which we're going to take Twyla down soon to have another swim. But yeah, just such a nice spot. And uh, yeah, I think the best out of the three free camping spots we stayed at, I think this is gonna be the best. And we're now on the water and um, Adam's just run up to the van to grab uh, Twyla's extended lead. Cause um, they're gonna go hop in and enjoy the water. I might have to follow them soon. Sausages with our little bit of a capsicum mix happening, and um, yeah, just having dinner. I just taken Twyla for a walk, and again, it's just so nice to be looking over and seeing some water while we're uh, cooking our dinner. Well, good morning guys. I've just snuck down from our van up there. Had a beautiful view up there, but I thought it's better to be down with the action. So I've come down here to have one last look before we leave today. Look how gorgeous this place is. And um, 
I might be, I don't know, that's my coffee. I thought, it's not that cold. I'm not blowing steam. But anyway, check it out. It looks gorgeous. Everyone's packing up, up, up there. They're all packing up, getting ready to go home. And we are just going to stay here for a little bit longer and enjoy it by ourselves. And, um, yeah, cheers. So we just finished having breakfast in Jamison. It was so nice being back in that little town. And we're heading home now, but check out this traffic. We're just um, in Mansfield again and just stopping. Actually, to be honest, we're going back to that shop to buy more clothing, aren't we terrible? But um, yeah, check out the traffic. It's gonna be so packed on the roads on the way home. So hopefully everyone's driving safe. But anyway, let's go back into Mansfield and uh, do a bit more shopping. And got our free coffee with a donation with a donation yes we donated as well and these guys are doing a free raffle so you can enter the competition and then we got we've missed the boat on we missed the boat we, on yeah well they ran out of um, entrance forms but what show and the dog thing we got yeah. twilight we got something for twyla well just to make out that yeah there you go her poop bag's going there <laughs> hope you're right <laughs> But, but yeah, they've got a bit of a queue happening, and um, they've got ice creams here, so we're just on the Hume Highway. And this is the end of the video, pretty much. Well, that's the end of our three-day free getaway, and we ended up with a free coffee. How kind of a coincidence. But anyway, we, I don't, we donated though. So. We did donate, we did donate. <laughs> But anyway, that's twice I've said that. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so yes, as per usual, if you're liking our videos, make sure you help the channel grow by going down the bottom, like him, su subscribing, or otherwise wait for the little dot to come up. You can touch that and I'll make him subscribe. Put it there, Adam, the dot. Anyway, <laughs> and I will see you next week on another adventure. Until then, have a good week. See you next Sunday, See you. 5 o'clock. Bye.